Hello and welcome back to another one and today we have a couple of topics to cover in this video and we'll start with the latest announcement that Eminem is gonna be a guest star on Friday's Crooks Corner and this announcement is quite special because of what's been going on between Eminem and media journalists that have been trying and failing to get Eminem on their platform. At this point everyone knows that Vulture Lad, <coughs> I mean Vlad, has wet dreams of getting Eminem on his platform and even when he interviews plumbers he always reserves a question regarding Eminem. Eminem to add to the headline, so that's one guy punching the air right now. We also have another former member of Slaughterhouse, the Judas of the group, who is likely pissed off at this time that Crook had got the drop on him with the incoming Eminem interview. Eminem certainly wasn't talking about a leaky faucet when he said he'll get a drop on his detractors, even when it hits close to home. So look out for that one coming on Friday. And since Paul Rosenberg has already confirmed that Eminem's next video is Godzilla, we may also expect that on Friday. So we're going into the weekend with a lot from Eminem this time around. We've got more to cover, but before we get to that, remember to check out my previous video on Kim Kardashian's comments about Eminem's performance at the Oscars, and also the latest from Nick Cannon that proves again that Eminem and 50 Cent are right about him, especially 50's comments recently that Nick Cannon is legendary corny. The camera's on, right? He's yeah. legendary corny. He's been corny forever, like forever, like from the very beginning. I do hit the like button to support the channel. And if you're new here, also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Before we head over to CNN's latest fumbles, it looks like Crooked has known about the upcoming interview with Eminem for a while. Since when a fan complained about Eminem choosing to not promote his latest album weeks ago, Crooked replied saying, is there a question he hasn't been asked yet that you'd like to see? Curious. So that was Crooked fishing for questions he'd ask Eminem in the upcoming interview from fans. So CNN decided to cover the news that Eminem's rap god hit a billion views on this platform. But we've come to expect that the LSM can't help themselves when it comes to Eminem's news and they are forced to add one or two things to take away from his success. Remember when they took a photo of Billie Eilish reacting to something else in the Oscars and used it to report the news that Eminem's performance was awkward? We've come to expect that and in the latest from CNN, which has now been edited since they got called out, the article stated, the six minute video which appeared on MMLP2 sees the Detroit native showing off his lyrical prowess while taking shots at rap peers including Tyler, Joe Budden and MGK. Apart from the timeline mix-up which is laughable and quite revealing since these publications actually review Eminem's albums and expect us to take them seriously. If those rappers listed are Eminem rap peers, then I'm the Queen of England. The Tyler name there is added so readers can be reminded that Eminem is batty-phobic if you get what I mean. And that's not a stretch, this is CNN. This has been corrected now and it states, this article has been corrected to remove the names of rappers who were not mentioned on the track. Funny enough, XXL and Billboard also made mistakes with headlines like Eminem joins the Billion Views Club from XXL when Eminem is the lead rapper with the most billion viewed videos on this platform and Billboard called Rap God Rap Devil in their report. Next up is about Lose Yourself and when that dropped there was no such thing as the Billboard Digital song sales chart. But the Oscars performance of the song boosted its sales and based on pure sales, Eminem's 2002 hit Lose Yourself re-entered the chart and has now achieved a new peak at number 3 on the song sales chart nearly 18 years later. Like I reported in the last video, the Court & Core album also climbed to number 51 on the Billboard 200 albums chart in the United States. So that will be all for today, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and what do you think of the topics covered today, especially that on the LSM and their errors on Eminem articles lately. How do you mistake Rap God for Rap Devil? XXL thought Rap God was Eminem finally joining the Billion Views Club and CNN's error was comical and typical. Let us know below and see you on the next one.